Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download some software to get into your PC should you have forgotten the password using one of these. Keep watching to find out how I do it. Okay, so you've forgotten your password for Windows and life is generally bad at the moment. So what you need to do is find a way of getting into that system, resetting your password and getting back in to do things. So I'm gonna be showing you how to use a tool from LazySoft and using a USB drive, we're gonna get into Windows and be able to unlock a password. Now there's two parts of this video. This is the first part showing you how to actually get the software. The second part will show you how to actually use the USB drive to reset your password. So if you wanna see how it's done rather than how to download it, then click on the video up over in the corner and you can see how it's done. So that's enough waffle, let's get on and download this piece of software. So the first thing you need is a working computer, obviously not the one that you can't get into because, well, you can't get into it. So beg, steal, borrow, use someone's PC, go to the library, grab a laptop, whatever you need to do. So open up your internet browser and type in LazySoft. and you can go to their official site. Now, the latest software recovery suite is available free of charge for home users. Uh, if you're a business or a uh, organization, then there is a version which you need to license and pay for, which again, you can check out on their site, but I'm gonna be going through the home user version because I am currently at home. So if you go to download, and the one we want to use is the Lazy Soft Recovery Suite 4.3. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, there may be a slightly different version, but in, the, in effect, the process is the same. So we're going to click on download. And it goes to the download.cnet.com site, which is a valid and verified site, so it's not a problem. So you can just click on download now. And normally I would say when you get an icon like that pop up saying download now, I would say definitely, definitely don't click on it. But in this case, it's fine. So we're all good. Now there is some stuff going on in the background because there's some videos and installation tutorials, etc. But uh, we'll ignore that for now. So we get a pop up now. Now, depending on your browser, we're using Edge. If you're using Chrome, the download situation is slightly different, but you, uh, you will get the general idea. Now the file name is going to be lsrhh setup.exe and we want to save so we're going to save this as and we're going to save it to our desktop environment and this shouldn't take very long at all obviously depending on your computer it may be very quick it may be very slow so that's finished already so let's open the folder and we can run the program and allow it to set up you have to agree to the terms and conditions and then you get to choose where you actually want to install the recovery suite. Now you can leave it in the default location, you can choose to install it wherever you want. So if you've got a particular drive on your computer, like an additional drive, which you keep all your tools and all that kind of stuff, then feel free to change the location. But I'm going to leave it as is for simplification in this exercise. Again, it's not a very big program, so it shouldn't take very long to install. But as with most things, your mileage may vary. So you can choose to launch the application or not, we are gonna launch it. And there we go, there's the Lazy Soft Recovery Suite. So there's various op options you can do. Some of these, these things you can actually run uh, within the operating system itself, on the computer it's on. Certain things like password recovery, um, you'll need to boot from a USB CD. So grab yourself a USB stick, preferably one with nothing on it, if there is something on it, it will be erased during this process, so bear that in mind. So put your USB stick into your computer. I'm using my Zotac Z-Box, but uh, the computer doesn't really make much difference. As long as you've got a USB port, you're good to go. So now we get to actually build the media to put on the drive. So you can select which Windows version you want. So if you're using the same version of Windows on the computer, you're creating it on as the one you're trying to recover. That's fantastic. Or alternately, you can choose from uh, any of those following operating systems. So we're going back as far as Windows XP 32-bit, right the way up to the modern day with the Windows 10 64-bit. Now we're gonna choose Windows 10 64-bit. 
And there's other various options on there. So you can add PE drivers, boot disk options, all that kind of stuff. So when it comes to formatting the drive, you can choose NTFS or FAT32. I'm going to stick with FAT32. Most of those things in there, you don't really have to be too concerned about as long as you've got the correct operating system for the drive you want to create. So hit OK. And then we'll click Next. And then it gives you an option of which or where you want the um, device to be created. So you can choose to do it as an ISO image, so you can burn it to a disk later on, or to a, directly to a CD or DVD, or to a USB flash drive. So I'm gonna choose USB flash drive, and of the drives which I've got available, it's only offering me the option of drive E. So we're gonna go with that. And then we can click start to begin the process. Uh, this may take a little time because it's downloading some of the Windows PE environment to actually create a bootable medium and a kind of a, a mini operating system. Again, depending on the speed of your internet, this could take a little bit longer. Um, I've got around about six megabyte per second connection, so hopefully it won't take too long. But again, your mileage will vary. Now possibly a good thing to do while you're waiting for it to download, if you uh, click on the subscribe button and the chime notification button, you'll be notified of all future video releases. And also, while you're at it, don't forget to throw a like on the video. Okay, so now we come to our bootable media builder and you get the warning that you must format the USB disk. Obviously, all data will be erased and are you sure you want to do it? So we're going to go ahead and click yes. And now the Lazy Soft Media Builder is erasing the USB disk and is going to start creating our bootable media. Again, this may take several minutes. This is possibly a good time for you to play Name This Tune with the songs coming from my head. That was an Englishman in New York by Sting. Any idea? Paradise City, Guns N' Roses. <laughs> wow, they weren't kidding. This is taking several minutes. And as if by magic, Okay, so the wizard is finished and your recovery disk is now ready. So now that it's finished, they've put some information on there. So you've got an option to click on two options, how to boot from a USB flash device and how to boot from CD DVD. Now, if you're using a flash uh, so if you're using a USB flash device, there's a strong possibility you'll need to make modifications to your BIOS to enable the system to boot from that device. Some systems will be set up to boot from CD as a default, um, not so much for USB, so you may need to make changes there. But again, if you need to see how this works, click on the video up in the description there, and you can see the next part of this video to see how it all works and to watch me recover my user password. In the meantime, this has been the LavaSoft Recovery Suite. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll see you in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Pats cake, pats cake. <laughs>